okay. Maybe you can isolate that problem and work on it. Not 44 states, man. It shows a mentality all across the country. All You can't say it's a southern thing when it's 44 states, bro. There's not 44 states in the south. I don't think so. <laughs> There's not 44 states in the south. So you can't no longer blame the South for this sexual mentality or sexualization or sexualizing of children. You can't blame the South anymore. Here's the punchline. That's old perspective. That's old standards of mindsets. Is the South is always doing this stuff with children. Then explain why the age of consent is at 17 in New York. A, ch a 17 is a child. They can't buy cigarettes. They can't buy alcohol. They can barely, I don't think they can get on a plane by themselves. A 17-year-old cannot do that. A 17-year-old has to have some type of documents that are with adults or something. But the bottom line is they can't smoke. They can't drink. I mean, anybody can drive a bike. So riding a bike, driving a car... It's almost the equivalent of driving a bike, riding a bike. Kids ride bikes. It's really nothing to driving. You're pushing the gas and brake. All you got to do is be aware of the traffic. That's the main thing. But the, the functioning of driving a car is pretty simple. On its own, without any cars, driving, operating the car does not signify age maturity pushing on the gas pushing on the brake turning a wheel signifies maturity man come on all you thinking about is the cars that's around the car let's talk about the operation of the car driving a car and having a driver's license and being qualified to have a driver license is not a big indication of a of a, of, a, of maturity In order to smoke and drink, it's understood that you got to be an adult. It's mind altering. Alcohol is mind altering. Cigarettes can lead to cancer and lung cancer if you're stupid and smoking your smoking your brains out. And yet kids cannot buy cigarettes and yet kids cannot buy alcohol, but yet they can have sex with fully grown adults. Explain that to me. That's the punchline. Here in New York, a 17 year old cannot buy a pack of cigarettes. Here in New York, An adult, a, a 17 year old cannot drink alcohol, buy alcohol. But here in New York, they can take adult penis. That's what 17 year old girls can do. They can't take a beer, but they can take adult penis, which can lead to STDs. Oh, you don't think there's any dangers to it? Let me let's explain the dangers of a 17 year old being with a fully grown adult. The dangers are. You can have STDs. That's the first one. Get, get HIV, ruin your life. Or some or herpes, which you can't get rid of. You can have a child. It's not a lot of 17-year-old girls out there with money in the bank. Which means the government is going to be paying for Allowing the age to be at 17 as the age of consent here in New York, you're going to come full circle when, from giving that, giving the, allowing that law to be. It's going to turn around to being a liability as time goes forward and these 17 year old girls are having sex with fully grown men. Now you're paying for the government and the state is paying for children because of the laws that you allow. So, and you played yourself. You made yourself liable. Well, kids are going to do what they're going to do, but you shouldn't be liable for it. I can hold you as liable 
by allowing 17 year old girls to have sex in the first place by law. Meaning there's not anyone going to stop them. Meaning the police is not going to do nothing about it. They can't do nothing about it. What the police going to do? They can persecute you on subtly, but by law, they can't put you in jail. And you know this is also against the conscience in the evolution of the minds of the American community. You know in your heart of hearts that this country has evolved past this thinking. You see where you are in the evolution? You see where I'm at? You see where you are in evolution? You think you're so high tech, you think you're so spiritual, but you lack evolving. You have not evolved. Because if you had evolved, you would be thinking the same way I'm thinking. It would show up in your thinking. I don't care what you're saying. It would show up there first. And these kids out here in New York City, supposed to be the greatest city in the country, they're out here in this city with the with being allowed to be with fully grown men, which holds the American government liable. You know 17-year-olds are immature. You know they don't know have a sense of discretion. They can be with any and everybody, which, which then becomes eventually a liability to you. Okay, if you allow 17-year-old girls to have sex with everybody, eventually she's going to hit a liability. Eventually she's going to hit a collision, which is going to be a liability for you. Whether you're paying for her HIV medicine or you're paying for her baby. So then guess what that means? You know, your mind has evolved enough to know that this is wrong, which means there should be a consequence for you, but you have not evolved enough to think and be motivated with corresponding action to do something about it. You all know it's wrong, but you ain't doing nothing about it. You know what that also leads to? Or leaves that you do actually have lust for children. Well, it doesn't take a lot of effort with all these people that say they got work ethic. <laughs> it doesn't take a lot of effort for you to get rid of the age of consent at 17 and just put it at 18. It's only one year difference, guys. It's so simple. That's how you know it's lust. That's how you know it's lust for children. And this is what I think. I think it's people that get off on the fact that it's the last year of their childhood. That's a seven. Yeah, you, you getting off on the fact that it's the last year of their childhood and that, and that makes you have an orgasm. Explain it to me why it's such a hard thing to change the age of consent up to 365 days difference. Only 365 days, a year, a year. So, so there's a little fantasy get off on 17 years old being the last year of childhood here in New York. There's a get off on that. Come on, man. You want to play stupid or what? It's a get off. It's a sexual fantasy get off. That's what it is. You explain to me why they can't just go a year, put it up to a year. Explain to me why. We talk about you, New York. You another one. You supposed to be a, supposed to be so great, but then you'll start talking about other states and stuff, what they doing. Just like America talk about other countries when you start talking about this. Well, New York, let's talk, let's, let's talk about how great and sophisticated you say you are. You should be smart enough to think about this on your own. You should be leading by example. Instead of saying, well, you know what those people in the South do. Well, no, we're talking about you with your sophisticated self. We're talking about you with your Merlot drinking self. With your Chardonnay drinking self. With your Moscato drinking self. We're talking about you with your Chardonnay drinking self. You, you, you see, you another one. You just like America. 
You start talking about this, oh, oh, oh. But what about over there? What about in Yemen? What about in the Middle East? No, we talking about you. Let's talk about you. New York do the same thing. I guarantee you they're doing it. Well, you just don't know how it is in the South. The age of consent is 16 down there. But we talking about you. The, the, one of the greatest countries in the cities in the world, states in the world, and you supposed to be so sophisticated. We talking about you. New York strong and New York cool. We talking about you. Well, you supposed to have all the proper reasoning of mind. But you ain't got that proper reasoning of mind. Where it can be 18 instead of 17. So it means why if they can't change up to just one year, what it means to me is that it's a get off in your mind and it's a fantasy in your community to be with the last age of their childhood. That's the only thing that makes sense. It's too close to 18 to make any other sense. That's a seven. You tell me what other sense it makes. You tell me. It says 17. It could easily be 18. Doesn't take a rocket scientist to get this. It's at 17. It could easily be at 18. The physical body between a 17-year-old and an 18-year-old is not going to change overnight. It's not going to change. A 17-year-old is still going to look like an 18-year-old. Most times. So you can't say, and I'm just saying in the world of perversion, you can't say, well, they just after those 17-year-olds because they look a certain way. Well, they're going to look the same darn way at 18. Right or wrong, guys. So you can't, so the, the perverts can't say their logic don't even make sense. Because at 17, it's still at 18 from 365 days later. Um, there's not going to be much of a change in the, in the physique or the, of, the, of the, 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 uh, the adult. So there's no logical excuse. The only, the only thing that makes sense is that it's a fantasy to be with the 17-year-old per. Now you see where I'm going with this. There's no other reason and nothing else makes sense. The person is going to look the same way at, seven, at, at 17 to, at 18. They're going to look the same way. So you can't really, it's not that. These perverts are not going out to 17-year-olds instead of 18-year-olds because they, they look a certain way. They look the same way. So it's a fantasy in the mind of these perverts to be with these last ending ages of children. I'm figuring it out now. I'm figuring it out now. Same thing with 16 and, and even 15. I think it's 16 and 17 where because the age of consent is, is under 18 in 40 states. So in those 40 states where the age of consent is under 18, I believe it's all about the get off of the fantasy of being with the children at their last ages of being a child. What other sense does it make? There's, it's not, you can't say it's the mentality of the people. That's number one. And that's a seven too. You can't say it's the mentality of the people. No one agrees with this. No one thinks anyone should be around having sex with 16 and 17 year old girl. So nobody agrees with this. Nobody agrees with this, right? So then... You can't say that it's the community that thinks like this that makes it happen. The government hmm. is questionable because they're the one passing the laws, but for some of them I look at, I don't think they would agree with it. At least not publicly. So they wouldn't agree with it publicly. They wouldn't do... Most of them wouldn't. So then what is it? What stops it from not being 18 when it's just a couple years away? If it's not 17, the age you can sit in America, it's 16. So why is these two years so significant that it can't just, they can't just, why is it so significant that they got to hold on to it and not just let it be 18 in all 50 states? Explain that to me. 
What's so significant about it? Yeah, this part. This is the good part right here. Yeah, it's getting good now. What's so significant about it? Uh huh. What's so? Why? Why can't you just let it go? Because they're getting off on the fact that they're still a child. That's what it is, which which confirms my hunches of pedophilia by law and pedophilia in the community. These Americans are the ones ones doing it. Because a fully grown man is thinking, well, why not just let it be at 18? You're already right there at 17. Here in New York, what's a year's difference that people going to have to wait to be with an adult? What's, what is it going to hurt these, these people? I'm telling you what it's going to hurt them. I'm going to tell you what it's going to hurt them. I'm going to tell you how it's going to hurt them. It's going to hurt them because they're not going to be able to have this nasty fantasy of being with a child by law. It's people that's getting off on it. That, I feel, is the reason why it still is here. You, can you explain it any other way? You can't make sense of it, can you? 17, I don't see why you can't do 18. It's only a year's difference. You look good, your country looks good, your city looks good. Same thing for others with 16. 16, okay, two years difference. Who's that hot in the pants? What man is that hot? Who, who, they can't wait. And you have your integrity knowing that you have not been with a child, your integrity, you can't wait two years to keep your integrity? You can't wait two years so that people think that you have some integrity when you already shouldn't even be attracted to nothing that young anyway. Let alone, I mean, I ain't even mentioning that part. And you still can't wait. You shouldn't even be looking at nothing that's 16 and 17, in my opinion. As a grown man, you shouldn't even be looking at nothing 16 and 17. That part. In the first place. In the first place. You a fully grown man. You ain't lived long enough to see something better than that. You have not lived long enough to see something better than a 16, 17 year old girl. Man, you can't be serious then that means you're per attracted to children now, doesn't it? Well, you haven't seen nothing better than a 16, 17-year-old girl. I have. I have. I've seen a lot better than a 16, 17-year-old girl. I've seen way better. Complete, total, 100% better. And that means then your country is dealing with pedophilia. You don't want to admit it. You don't want to admit it. And you could talk about what people do as children, but we grow up to be men. You, you, you can't paint that picture. You don't have the luxury of changing narratives. If people had sex when they were children, that's when they were children. You can't change the narratives and act like they still want to be with children. You don't have the luxury of doing that. Okay? But I'm not changing any of your narratives. You are fully grown men still thinking it's good to be with 17-year-old girls then that means you haven't changed your desire system, now does it? You, you will. You still desire children. You, des you still desire something that looks like children almost, that thinks like a child, that moves like a child. Well, you can't move like a child, a man or a, a, a woman if you're not. Come on, not totally, man. I don't, not totally. Come on now. Ain't that much flavor in the world. Ain't that, like, ain't, let me put it like this. Ain't that much charisma and personality in any 16, 17-year-old person in the world to make you fully move in something like, move like an adult that you're not. And you're not an adult. And this is why I am on top. And this is why I deserve to have all your money. I ain't saying it's a stick up, but I deserve to have all your money. You sitting up here playing games. 
You sitting up here with 17, with, with 17 is the age of consent. It could easily be another year ahead. I just think I deserve all y'all money, man. Because you, you, everybody say they enlightened. The Illuminati running around here talking about they enlightened. Well, then how come you ain't enlightened to understand that then? You didn't get that, did you? Then I guess that means I'm above you now, doesn't it? You too. You another one. I'm above you too. Well, you wasn't enlightened enough to see that uh, your country is, first of all, got 44 states moving child marriage, got the age of consent at 18, under 18 in 40 states, and then it could easily be at 18, and the reason why it's not is because they're getting off on the fantasy of the last years of, a, of, of, a, of these Americans' childhood. They're getting off on it. And you wasn't enlightened enough to see that, now were you? You explain it any other way. Explain why you got to stop one year short of 18. Explain it. But explain it intelligently. Explain it intelligently. Make it make sense. Like the, like the, the Americans say now. Make it make sense. Make it make sense why they stop one year shy of 18. Except for to fulfill a fantasy sexually, you you got to know how to you got to know the sexual sexual psychology. You got to know about sexual psychology. You got to. Even though it's not you, you got to wonder why can't they just be why can't it just be eighteen in New York when it's right one year short of it? The sexual psychology is. They're getting off on the fact that it's the last year of the child. Explain it any other way why they got to go come one year short of it now. Think about it now. Are you stupid? Are you? Can you read between lines? Can you think? Can you think independently? Then why would they wait? Why would they? Why would they? Uh, why would they come short one year of it? One year now, you can't come any closer to it, but you don't go all the way to it. Then that means you came as close as you could to it being an adult. And these people do it to fulfill the fantasy of having that those last years of a child or still being able to be with a child. It's one or the other. That's the only thing that makes sense. When you come 365 days close to making to an adult, you come three less than a thousand days close to an adult, less than a thousand days close to an adult age for sexuality, and you can't wait 365 days. It's not a it's not a southern thing. You think my mentality is southern? You think I'm not with the times? No, it's you. You still thinking like these old people that used to think back in these these other centuries. Because these days I've showed you clearly there's no one there's no one out here that's doing that that thinks this way. So you can't say it's just me. Your whole culture does not agree with child marriage, buddy. Your whole culture does not agree with children having sex. Now, do parents know that their children are going to have sex? Of course. But this is with other children, by the way. This is with other children. This is what they expect. Them to be having sex with other children. But they don't give a license to it, though. That's the difference. And the American government has given a license to it. When you, when you have 44 states with child marriage and the age of consent under 18 and 40 states, you've given a license to children to have sex. And here's the problem. You sit up and complain about pedophilia in the same breath. I don't want to hear none of y'all Americans complaining about it no more. If you ain't saying nothing now when I'm talking about this, don't please don't talk to me about no pedophilia. Please. Save your breath, please. Do not talk about it anymore. When you can sit up and listen to this information, 
44 states with child marriage. The age of consent under 18 in 40 states. Please don't complain about it anymore. Anymore. Okay? And some still going to get done about it. Yeah, because it's too much of a contradiction. And now I figured it out. It's all about the get off at those last ages of their childhood. Either people getting off on the last, because it's the last age, or the fact that it's still a child. It's all about this sexual fantasy get off on being with a child. I've gotten to the, I got, I've figured it out. I've bust open the case. This is what it is. Explain to me why they can't wait one more year. Explain it. You would, let me give you the reasons why you would do it. For cause I know you, it ain't in you to be honorable and have integrity and character and have a pure heart and a good heart. So let me show you what a good heart really is. A good heart says, 18 will make me, will make will definitely make me a man or woman that has been that it has been with a, a fully grown adult. There's nothing wrong with the first year. There has to be a first year. Everybody's always gonna put a stigma on the first year. There's nothing you can do about it. If it was 21, people would be talking about, well, you shouldn't be with a 21 year old. If it was 41, people say if that was the first year for adulthood, people would be talking about, well, you shouldn't be with a 41 year old. So the first years are of adulthood is always going to get this bad rap. But long as it is an adult, that's what I'm talking about. And here's the reason why. Because when I turned 18, a light bulb went off in my head. Something changed about me as how I seen life. It happened. And this is why I don't have a problem with 18. Because I, re I really... God be my witness, I went through that experience. Something went off in my head where I was no longer a child. It wasn't 17, it wasn't 16, it wasn't 15 or 14 or 13 or 12. When I was 18, something went, up, like a light bulb just went off in my head. And I, I, get, I don't know, maybe this happened for the smart people, maybe it doesn't happen to everybody. But it happened to me. So I know that at 18, that's a proper that's a uh, that's a proper age for adulthood and adult uh, and an adult lifestyle. I can only I can only speak from my experiences and all around the world, 18 is considered the age of adulthood, and I think it's because of this light bulb experience that happens with the human being. We all agree across the world that 18 is the age of adulthood. It's something about that age. But it's not 17. And if you and it's not 16 or 15 or 14 or 12 or 13. And you would think if we were dealing with men of honor and women of honor, that people would say, well, I would just rather just wait to 18. For my own conscience sake. Just to say as an adult, I am not with a child. I am not putting my penis in child vagina. Just for that reason. And for women, you can say, well, I'm not sucking on no child's penis. If the child is 18. This is all clarified and solidified when you're being with someone that's 18, okay? But when you're with someone that's 17, you can't say it's an adult. You can't, no matter how bad you want to justify it. So what does that make you? A person that's attracted to a child. I don't care how mature they are. I don't care. Their flesh is the flesh of a child, period. Because we're talking about sex here. We're talking about sex in itself. So the physical physique, the flesh and blood and bones and vagina is 17. It's a child. 
It's not an adult body. It's not an adult vagina. It's not adult breast. I have to break it down like this, guys. For women that are doing that too, it's not adult penis. I don't care how big it is or erect it is. I don't care about none of that. It still is the penis of a child. And if you were people of honor and integrity, you would just wait for your own integrity and character and conscience sake. That's how we know who's who. The boys from the girls, the boys from the men, the girls from the women. This is how we know. Because real men think like this. You want to know who's a pedophile? Now you know. Because a real man is going to say, you know what? I go ahead and wait to 18. Before I, 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 I always want someone that's 18 and up. 18 and up. That's all I'm ever want. That's how you know a pedophile. You could you could you could do all this psychological stuff, but if someone's not saying that part, then what then what do you have? When you have 44 states with child marriage, how you can tell who, who how you know who's the pedophile? When you got the age of consent of 18 on the 40 in 40 states, how can you sit up here trying to figure out who's the pedophile? Well, because look, like I told you many times in many videos, a pedophile is someone that has sexual desire for children. Now, if you're with someone that's 17 